Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Queen of Queen She Me and today I'm coming to you guys with my Hairfinity update. I initially started out with the 7 day supply from Hairfinity and I came across this link on my Facebook and I also recently shared that link so that you guys could also try out Hairfinity for yourself for free the first 7 days and the only thing you have to pay for is just shipping and handling. So when I got the initial 7 day supply I took that um, you take two pills a day with an eight ounce glass of water and me personally I have also increased the amount of water that I take on a daily basis as well just to ensure that the pills can work to the best of their abilities so this is still month one I'm almost finished with them matter of fact as of today it is December the 16th after two after this week coming up you guys i'll be finished with my one month supply and be starting on the second month supply um i do have some length check um pictures for you guys because um, that's the only way you guys are really going to know if they've actually been working or not. And some of you have already noticed that my hair has actually grown over the last month, month and a half, close to two months. And that has been due to me making sure that I increase the amount of water that I take daily, taking these hair affinity pills. And also too, I have had to um, start taking hormone pills because I have had some skin problems and it has also helped with that as well so I think with getting my hormones back in balance and also too with taking the hair affinity pills as well I think with the two working together um it really has helped with the hair journey you guys okay so of course every time when you get your monthly um hair affinity pills they come in this cute pink packaging and of course I've already opened it you guys I always open my mail when I get home and this time it came with an extra little pamphlet which I thought was neat um because they actually tell you guys well let's backtrack they always include the um shipping invoice um as always they always include a pamphlet they always include a pamphlet of um what other products that they also offer as well for you guys to use along with their hair journey so this time it actually came with another little card and it never came with this one before and it actually tells you on how to use the hair affinity pills so like i said you take two a day and you drink with a full eight ounce glass of water and then you just let the magic begin so you guys pretty this much. is what the packaging looks like if you guys do not know what the hair affinity pills packaging looks like this is what it looks like and um yeah and again it comes with the 30 day supply which means this is about 60 yeah 60 pills in here so again this is my one month supply and this is my two month supply okay so um actually we're getting ready to go and have breakfast so i already have my two for the day in a little small um pill holder so that way when i go to the restaurant i can just take it when i actually eat my food so you guys um points that i want to hit on um while I'm talking to you guys about you know my second day supply that I mean not second day supply I'm sorry but my second month supply of the hair affinity pills because in my initial video I told you guys I wanted to try it out for about two to three months so I'm sticking true to my word and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm still gonna stay on this hair affinity journey because I have noticed a difference um in my hair you guys so since my last update I have trimmed my hair twice um and I think that really has made a big difference because um for one, you guys, the weather has changed, so you have to make sure that you that you trim your hair regularly. And then two, um, the ends of your hair are the oldest parts of your hair, so you don't want to hold on to those old, nasty, dead ends. And I was noticing that my hair looked like it was starting to... Um, it just didn't look right, even with my twist outs. And so I cut off about an inch, maybe an inch and a half of my hair over the last month. Um, because again it just wasn't looking to my standards and plus two I want to make sure that my hair affinity pills are working again we're paying almost 20 you know $30 a month so you want to make sure that these pills are actually going to be able to work on your hair yeah and both times that I have trimmed my hair you guys they have either been on my wash days or after my wash days and usually on my wash days I'll try to go ahead and trim my ends if I need to so that way when I deep condition my hair can get the most out of that deep conditioning session I have made a point too to also 
massage my scalp daily you guys because it's easy to forget to massage your scalp i'm guilty of it i know it's hard to just try to keep up with all these tips and tricks with natural hair but if you just make it a point to actually incorporate it into your natural hair regimen then eventually it's just going to become second nature and you're just not even going to think about it you're just going to start doing it so i do massage my scalp daily whether it's in the morning time or at night if i notice that my scalp is itchy i grab either my jamaican black castor oil or i grab my um allocate naturals essential 17 hair growth oil oh my gosh that oil is phenomenal and i'll probably pick up the full size today when i go and get the deep conditioner because i will have a video for you guys um actually reviewing the allocate natural um curl kit that i received so you will actually be able to see how all the products work on my hair so definitely just make sure that you massage your scalp because it helps with stimulating blood, blood flow it also helps produce the natural oils in your scalp and a lot of people tend to forget that your scalp is no different than your regular skin if you don't massage it and nurture it then it's going to be dry and brittle and with massaging your scalp it helps produce its own sebum meaning it helps to produce its own natural oil just like the oil in our regular skin just like on your face that's nothing more than sebum which is the natural oil that is produced from your body so just make sure that you make it a point to actually massage your scalp because i've noticed a difference with that and i think um with doing so my scalp has really you know benefited from it as well okay so i've already said about the jamaican black castor oil and the allocate naturals oil um also too i have been doing a lot of low manipulation hairstyles if you guys have noticed like the last two weeks um i have just been rocking my mini twists if you haven't seen those posts you guys can definitely follow me over on my instagram account where i post daily about you know my hairstyle you know two day old hair three day old hair or if i'm new using a new product or whatever the case may be so over on that <laughs> over on my instagram account you guys you will see that was wearing my mini twist for like two weeks and my hair really did like it um my hair was not dry it was not brittle my ends were looking all crazy i really didn't have dry scalp at all i really only moisturized my scalp on an as needed basis but i was still making sure to massage my scalp as well and i was still taking my hair affinity pills and taking my daily amount of water intake that i try to hit on a daily basis along with blow manipulation styles you guys have i have tried to use as i've just tried not to use any kind of headbands at all anything on the perimeter of my hair um as you guys know the main point of me taking a part of the hair affinity journeys because my edges were thinning but as you can see i hope you guys can see um that my edges they are starting to kind of fill in some and it's not going to happen overnight because you know your edges you know they're more exposed or more vulnerable to being thinner with washing your face and your bonnets and just styling and trying to slick your edges and all that kind of stuff so um my edges i feel they have been doing pretty well um especially they're just right here it's just right here in this small little section and then on the other side it's the same thing it's just right here so i don't know what's going on with that but for some reason my edges just started thinning and i noticed it and i just immediately took action and so that's why i decided to start taking the hair oh yeah pills. also too as far as low manipulation hairstyles you guys like if i have like a failed hairstyle like I will try the best that I can to not put on a headband. If I have to just pull my hair up into a puff, that is the last resort because you guys know I love my puffs, but you have to remember too, a lot of that tension sits around here. It's not here in the front or necessarily in the back, but it's just really right here on these edges because you're pulling it back and up. So puff is really like my last resort even though that's like my go-to style my ride or die hairstyle i love that hairstyle because it's just easy and simple but a lot of times what's easy and simple and quick to the point can also you know hurt you in the long run so you just have to kind of be careful with you know what kind of hairstyles you're using you guys 
all right you guys so that was pretty much it for my hair affinity update um this is my um second hair affinity update this is not my third hair affinity update i'm looking at my notes and so yeah so i will be finished with my one month supply next week on december 21st that is wednesday and i did receive my second month supply of my hair affinity pills on wednesday i december hope you guys enjoyed this video my king and queens i hope it was helpful for you guys because i know a lot of you you know forewarned me of thinning you know and everything like that and fortunate enough i have not had that negative experience you guys so thank you jesus because i told you guys if it got bad i was cutting that shit off and um no and i would have just been sending the pills back and get my money back so yeah so i'm glad you guys enjoyed this video if you found this helpful you guys let me know down below in the comment section also too if you have any other kind of helpful tips as far as like thinning edges or just trying to make sure that you just make sure that your hair just doesn't thin overall and to just keep the thickness of your hair please leave that down below as well you guys my channel is here to help one another because i know when i started my natural hair journey i was just all over the internet just trying to find someone who can just be my internet hair i don't know someone that i could just look up to and just really learn and just make sure that i'm just taking care of my natural hair in the right way so i hope you guys enjoyed this video my king and queens please 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 give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below thank you guys so much oh my gosh i almost forgot thank you guys so much for getting me to 200 subscribers oh my gosh you guys i prayed and i told god i said i'm just gonna let you lead me lord in a way that you want me to go and i said you know it would be a blessing if this year before 2017 arrives that if my channel could hit 100 subscribers i didn't even say 200 i said 100 subscribers and you guys got me up to 200 so i just love each and every one of you god bless you i will definitely be having some form of a giveaway coming your guys' way just to show my appreciation for each and every one of you you guys so thank you so much for watching my king and queens and i will see you guys in my next upload be blessed